Alright. This adventure brings us to English Town. Because it's on the way. It's close by. And because I never learned my lesson. So it's good exercise. And I love seeing stuff. So let's get into it. Wow. It's just so much stuff. Like, where do you start? It's nice. Might have to come back here, dig a little deeper. We'll see. Tends to be a lot of newer stuff, a lot of tchotchkes, but you can find your classic stuff here. I just like getting out here and looking. That is cool. The old vodka club or whatever tonic very cool I always love these little screws and nails and whatnot I don't know what the heck that thing is how cool is that you know what that is I don't huh? to blow smoke to going. blow smoke or uh, maybe yeah, for on your fire blows air so wow good for camping or oh, I, fi I figured you you fill it up and you smoke out like a wasp nest or something <laughs> you can do that too <laughs> what do you get for something like that huh three dollars that's right antique sold very cool mm -hmm. These are the dangerous tables. There's some buying stuff. Morning. Wow. That is cool. Like size size 15. That is cool. Definitely doing a lot of hiking. Decaf, huh? Come on. The world, the world is cruel enough as it is. People actually drink decaf. Please let me know in the comments. Tell me why. I do like old bottles, man. Jaundice bitters. know enough about this stuff but this is very cool drink true me that is cool I wouldn't want to carry these things around now but that is neat what do you get for all the bottles ten dollars up ten dollars each and up wow very pretty colors I like them Yeah, I don't know enough about the uh, bottles, but I do know that if you said $10 for the whole box, I would take them and then do some research, clean them up, flip them, and hide them from my wife. Some random stuff, man. Tools. Toys. I thought I saw something iron over here but I'm old 50 feet away anything looks like anything but I always dig around but I don't always tape it because nine times out of ten it doesn't produce anything and then that one time it does I have the camera off so I'll get better. There's a ton of fishing poles here, man. And my son is sort of interested in fishing, so 
We have to upgrade his kiddie pole. The old feed bell joke. Instant, instant divorce. So I avoid those. Maybe fun joke, but. day so far but always looking for cleavers and old knives nothing here let's keep marching yeah they could probably lift the house Holy yeah, cow. Good. that works yes when do you think that's from uh, 1930s 40s no, this is more than, more than 1940. Oh my gosh. 1800, I think it's from the railroad. Wow. Look at that. What is this, coffee? Yeah. What do you get for that? Hmm? You see, the cow go up and down. Yeah. So it's around 30,000 pounds. Holy cow. What, how much for this? For the coffee? Yeah. I do 20 because this is really one one. See? It's really one one. Wow. That's Give nice. me 18. You can have for 18. That's nice. There's three of them. I saw this is the last one. I saw it for 20. I love that too, man. I, I don't have anything 30,000 pounds to, to uh, pick but up. Anyway, you can use it for whatever you can. And this. Woo! Oh my gosh. This came from Mariela, Mariela, Pennsylvania. How much for that? You see, I told you you don't want to believe me. I want to get 175, you know? This is over $300 in the antichop. Over $300. Right? Wow. 175. It's really heavy. It's still really heavy. I would not want to restore that, but that is... And usually they have the, the holes. People put holes in them, put Cooking. plant in them, but this, wait, wait. that... That one you can use for cooking. I'll let it go for 150. Man, that's beautiful. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Twenty dollars. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Man, I don't know what I would do with that or how to restore it, but that would probably be yard art. But I don't want to ruin it because you can totally cook in that. So let's keep walking and dreaming. Digging around looking for my kind of rusty gold and I finally found one cast iron skillet. It's a newerish. Not bad, but primarily I need size six through ten. Especially for the summer when I'm out doing my shows. So let's keep marching. Wow. Video game a galore. But as usual, they've been out a while, and all the super expensive ones have probably been sold on the internet. Jesus. Thank, thankfully, I didn't bring my son today because. This table would have cost me about $30. We're almost coming to the end here, unfortunately, and I've only seen one cast iron skillet and one enamel piece that I would have bought, but I had a chip in it, so it was not a great stop. Mm, tomato plants. Because the, the 18 tomato plants I have aren't enough. Come on. Must stay strong. No more tomato plants and no more tools. All right, made it back from English Town and it was everything I expected it to be, which is mostly not vintage stuff, but uh, I did manage to get a couple things that have dirt and rust that I love. This thing, the guy said it was for a fire. 
pretty sure it's a hive smoker. But if you on the internet know, you know, drop a comment and educate me. Just be nice about it, huh? Riverside bottling. These are neat. You clean it up, clean it out. You know, they get 20 to 30 bucks fixed up. I can never say no to these. They sell at shows and they're cool. I always tell people not to put change in them because it gets more than halfway. You pick it up and the bottom just stays where, <laughs> where it, right on the ground and all the change goes everywhere and you know, that could be a disaster. And I picked up one of these because for people that use electrolysis, you can set up a e-tank for cleaning up hands. And these old ice, ice tongs, those are always an easy sell. And you know, you can clean them up, paint them, or you could just spray uh, clear over it and capture the patina. It's up to you, but I literally saw three cast iron pieces, so, but it's so close, and I love the thrill of the hunt, so I get out there anyway and have fun, and that is a ton of exercise, because that place is not small, but anyways, that's all I got, probably be a while since I, uh, until I get back to English Town, but um, as always, this is Kestar and Kev, and I think we could all do better.